Bam, chicka wow wow, chicka 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 wow, chicka wow wow, chicka chicka wow, chicka wow wow. What's up, sons? It's Blind Drive with Son of Tech once again, and today we're going to be going over how to upgrade your Chia wallet to the latest version, 1.1.1, and some things you should take a look at and just take into account while you're upgrading. But before we do, here's a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. For my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. All right, so essentially what's happening is you might see a message on your screen that says the application will stop working at block height 193536. And if this is the case, then you need to get your wallet updated so that you stay on the proper chain and continue to farm with, of course, all of your plots. This is going to be true on pretty much all operating systems that are supported, Windows, Ubuntu, and Mac. We will be going over the Windows tutorial here for you guys in just a second. And then in addition to that, what you may want to take a look at if you're on Ubuntu is essentially just backing up your config files and your DB files to another section and then importing it. But you really shouldn't need to because worst case, you can just recover it from the seed. If you guys watch the how to plot video, you should have your seed saved in a secure location. If not, then, well, I encourage you to go ahead and resolve that as quickly as possible. We'll show you guys how to go ahead and find that seed right here. Okie dokie. So when you open up your wallet, you will see here that you have your private key with public fingerprint 8987030 for me. That change or that fingerprint will be different for you. And you're just going to want to click the see private key button. Once you click this, you will get your seed right here, as well as your public key and your private key. You can go ahead and temporarily save that to a notepad before you go ahead and upgrade the system. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and begin the upgrade. And we're going to just go ahead and close the blockchain and say yes. And then we are going to go to the main website at www.chia.net and we are going to click the download for Windows. I currently already have it downloaded, so we are just gonna go ahead and view our downloads. And as you can see here, this is gonna be Chia Setup 1.1.1.exe, and we're gonna go ahead and click Open File. We are gonna go ahead and Allow, and Allow. And then, typically, this should just move all of your stuff over with the update. And then to verify, you just want to go ahead and click help and then about Chia blockchain. And then it should show here Chia blockchain 1.1.1. If it's older than that, then you didn't do it correctly and you need to rerun the file. Now, if you run into a bunch of issues and you can't get it to update, of course, you can manually uninstall it by going to programs and features and adding and removing and then searching for Chia and then just uninstalling it and then installing it, of course, once again. When you do that though, you may need to recover your seed. If you need to recover your seed and it doesn't automatically pick it up here, you can just click the import from mnemonics and then you would essentially open your notepad and paste in the words that we copied over earlier to recover your wallet and press next and it will recover your wallet. All in all, they've made this pretty seamless, definitely on Windows. Ubuntu was no different. Essentially, the only difference with Ubuntu if you use the installer is that you do have to uninstall the blockchain and then reinstall it or uninstall the wallet, excuse me, and then reinstall it. And then for Mac, it does the exact same thing as Windows to my knowledge at this point. So it's pretty straightforward. I know a lot of people were kind of nervous about this. So I just want to show you guys a couple steps on protecting yourself by backing up that key and making sure you have that 
that ready. The only other thing that you will have to do is go into your plots. Okay, so in some cases it may have lost the plots directory. That's pretty simple. You're just gonna go ahead and enter into your wallet and click the plots tab. Then you're gonna come up here and click the ellipses. And on the ellipses, you're gonna click the add plot directory. And then you can see ours is already mapped, but if yours is not mapped, you'll need to click add plot, plot directory and then find your plot directory and say select and then close. At that point, it will find the plots and then of course start farming again, which you can verify by going over to the farms tab. Now this is our example PC, of course, and we did test this on our main rig. We are having some issues with my, my central kind of farming VM that I'll go over in another video with you guys. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope it was helpful. If it was, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.